I went with her the day we got the diagnosis and um, yeah, it was pretty, pretty horrific. Um, it would probably be quicker to tell you where she didn't have cancer. As much as they administered pain relief to what they could, um, it went beyond that. Um, you know, having a broken leg with the nerve exposed, um, it, was, it was agony and um, she wanted to die then. And I remember sitting with her in the hospital and she looked at me and she said, we treat our animals better than this. <laughs> She's right. What can you say to that? There's a forum that we have invited all 93 state MPs, plus as many of our members as we could fit into the room. It's to encourage our politicians to initiate an inquiry into end of life choices. I would think that we would follow the Victorian Bill very closely. It's very carefully worded. It has many, many safeguards in it. Uh, I have simply always believed for as long as I can remember that anyone who was close to death and suffering should be able to say, I've had enough, I want to go now, and have their wishes fulfilled. The urgency in Queensland is that each week it is likely that somebody has is, is, is experienced a horrible death uh, at their own hands out of pure desperation because they don't have a choice about alleviating their suffering. Again, if you look at those countries, you know, that have got like 18 years advance on us, they also started with safeguards. Whereas initially it was introduced simply for terminal end of life stages when people were just at their critical last end, we find that's being expanding and expanding. We see that, uh, you know, people are, are allowed euthanasia just if they're sort of depressed. And we all go through stages when we're depressed. You know, we talked about certain outcomes and she only had a 40% chance of surviving the surgery. So she was quite hopeful that she wouldn't. Um, and I kind of understood and I respected that. And she just said to me, we talked to the anaesthetist about, you know, dosages and things like that. And then just before she went, you know, she said, how nice would it be just to go to sleep and not have to wake up again? You know, she was very upset when she did wake up and she was still here. Um, and, I, and I remember as they took her off to surgery, I said to her, um, if you do find a way out or find that light, take it, don't come back for me. Because <laughs> I couldn't ask her to come back and be in that amount of pain. That palliative care can help most people most of the time, but there are some that it can't help. And so we say, why should these people not have a choice? Even the best palliative care does not alleviate the suffering of everyone. Yes, we've actually spoken to palliative care specialists and, and doctors such as Dr David Van Gent can say in all of his time that he's always found that there is enough uh, medication to be able to support and make a patient comfortable in their last stages of life. And sometimes at that very last stage it might even be decided to put someone into a mild sedative because comfort of that person is always the main criteria. No one wants to see someone uncomfortable and, um, and in writhing in pain. She went into palliative care and received the most amazing, beautiful care. We were really lucky. I believe that palliative care for a lot of people can be enough, but I've seen firsthand that in some situations it's beyond that and the disease or illness is just so savage. Queensland remains the only state in Australia never to have debated this issue. Each week it's swept under the carpet, more human tragedies unfold. This debate is not about a right to die. It is about 
a right to ask for help if you are dying and be on meaningful medical help. A law for voluntary assisted dying will not mean that more Queenslanders die, but it will mean that less Queenslanders suffer as they die. If we had access to voluntary assisted dying for my mum, it wouldn't have just been about the actual act itself, but it would have given her peace of mind. And as a family, I suppose, we could have been better with it, um, knowing, having a memory of how she wanted to have it instead of the way it did happen at the end.